Hey guys, it's Miss Char. I can't believe it's the last week of summer reading. So we have something very special planned this week. Don't forget to look for Professor Tony on the 30th, okay? So in preparation for that, I thought I'd show you how to make some juggling balls so you can have some at home. So you will get a kit for these. Um, to make your own. We're going to give you one already made so that you can see what it looks like here at Willard. Okay, and I'm going to show you now how to make it for yourself, but the instructions are in your kit as well. So all you need is a bag. This does not come in your kit. This is one of those things I thought most people would have at home. So I'm going to cut the top off of that because we don't need that Ziploc on it and that's just gonna make your, your ball be a little bulky and you don't want that. So we're gonna cut that off. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of uncooked rice, okay? You could use flour if you wanted to too. It, it does have the same kind of consistency. The only thing with flour is it's a little messier. So <laughs> that's why we decided to do, do it with this. So I just put it into one corner of my bag and then that's just gonna give it some twists so that it's nice and closed. And if you want to, you can even put on a piece of tape just to hold it in place, make sure it doesn't come undone, but you really wouldn't have to because you put balloons over top. Then you're gonna take your balloons. You're gonna have six balloons in your bag. Um, you need three for each ball. Okay, that's just gonna make sure that everything is locked up tight in there. And you're just gonna hold it and you're gonna cut the neck off of it. Doesn't have to be any specific place or anything like that. And then you're going to take it and put it around the bag. And so I try to put it where I closed my bag. That's the thing that I try to put in first. And then you just really need to stretch it using both of your hands. Stretch it until you fit the balloon completely around it. Then you want to kind of mold your ball a little bit. Make sure that it's going to be nice and round. See how Miss Shire's doing it? Just kind of poking it around. That one looks like it could use just a little bit of more hole there. So that it's good and flat. And looks like I can cut off just a little bit more of the neck on that balloon, just so that it fits good and sturdy. Okay. Okay, now comes the fun part with the second balloon, because you're gonna wanna, you wanna cover that so that it's completely covered so you don't see that bag at all. But the next balloon, if you want to have color peek through, you can cut some holes in it, okay? So it's super simple. Just stretch it a little bit in between your fingers. Take your scissors and just clip off a little bit here and there, wherever you want to. Doesn't really matter where. And then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take the ball, you're gonna Hold it in your fingers and you're going to stretch it over top again. I'm actually going to try to move it so that, here we go, so that that rice is covered completely. So now you can see I have the greens poking through different places. And you can do the same thing with your third balloon if you want to. You don't have to put that third balloon on there. I just like to put it on there because when you start using your balls and you juggle them at all or do anything with them, you take the chance of breaking that bag and hopefully the rice will stay sturdy if you have all three balloons on. So I'm just gonna put my third balloon on there. And truly that's all there is to it. They're gonna look like this when you're all done and you will have three. Now, Ms. Char's not gonna show you how to juggle. That's up to the professionals. I'm going to guide you though. There's a really good YouTube video to go watch 
There's a wonderful lady on YouTube. Her name is Taylor Glenn, T-A-Y-L-O-R-G-L-E-N-N. Go watch her um, Learn to Juggle Three Balls beginner video. She takes you through it step by step in very easy instructions. I think you'll be able to do it really, really quick. And so I hope you'll have a lot of fun with that. Don't forget too to watch for Professor Tony. Um, he's going to be pretty awesome. I know that you will enjoy that. That's four o'clock on the 30th of July. Thanks guys. It's been great.